Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will continue on our journey of discussing performance optimizations that we can do while running our Spark workloads in Dataproc. The optimization we are discussing in this video is adding local SSDs to our worker nodes. By default, worker nodes only have boot disk, which can either be SSD or spinning disk. This disk is used by Spark for writing shuffle files. Now, for shuffle heavy jobs, the performance of local disk have direct impact on the performance of the job. Hence, we should make sure that our local disk is giving us high throughput. We should add local SSD in addition to the boot disk to improve the disk IO. The local SSDs are cheap and blazing fast as they are connected to the servers physically in comparison to the persistent disks which are accessed over the network. When we add the local SSD, Dataproc automatically configures Spark to use it as local disk. The difference of using spinning boot disk versus local SSD for local disk is night and day. Let us see where and how to configure the local SSD for our workers. Head over to the Dataproc page in the cloud console. Hit create cluster. Go to the configure nodes. Scroll to the worker nodes section. There, you'll find the option to add local SSDs. These SSDs are available in a fixed size of 375 GB per disk and up to 8 disks can be added per worker. For most of my heaviest jobs, I found one disk was sufficient. But depending on your needs, you can add more. If you are using secondary workers, add local SSDs to them too. And that's it. All the other configuration for the clusters stays the same as we have discussed in the previous section. We can't demo the performance impact here, but I urge all of you to use this optimization and see the difference for yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.